Hey guys, Motocar Not here, and today we're talking VWs again. I have many videos on a lot of failures, a lot of common problems with these cars, but a lot of times I have the engines out of the car when I'm showing you things. I figured I'll do this one. This one's not touched yet. Uh, another time and chain failure engine, so I figured I'd make a video and point out what things are, what's the name of them, and what fails on them. Now, of course, it's not everything, but it's the common things. Okay, so number one, looking at it, you have your um, cover right here, this little plastic cover. This comes off. There's, there's uh, four rubber grommets. It comes right off. So now what you're looking at, common failure, is the PCV, positive crankcase ventilation, right here. Now, if this is leaking, like this one is, you got to replace it. That creates a massive vi vacuum leak because when you take this off, the whole valve cover is like big hole in there. So this is a big seal all the way around. Okay, another another indication if it's not leaking, there's a little vent hole right here on the tip. With the engine running, there should be no vacuum there. If there's vacuum there, that means the diaphragm failed and it has to be replaced. That's number one failure. Number two, or with, or not necessarily constant failures, but with, with where they're located and what's the names. For instance, the vacuum pump is right here. You see this right here? There's vacuum lines on it. This is the vacuum pump. Okay, it's turned by the cam shaft. This is the high pressure fuel pump right here. Right here. All right, it's on the lobe. The cam shaft pushes in and out, pumps the fuel, brings it up to higher pressure. Okay, they fail. Now, in between the housing of the uh, vacuum and fuel pump housing to the head, there's a gasket, and that a lot of times leaks. And what it does, it leaks down, leaks in the back, and, it, and when you look underneath, it looks like a main seal leak. I have a video on that too. Got to check it out. And it's not a main seal leak. A lot of people take it all apart, do all that work, and realize the seal was good when it's this seal. That's another one that fails. Another thing that fails on these cars is if you see here this is a vacuum the actuator all right that controls the flap inside the uh, intake manifold that has a flap there and what happens is it's hard to see it but if you would follow this vacuum diaphragm the arm the arm is connected to a ring that ring if that ring pops out that's a massive um, vacuum leak i have a video on that too all right it would have to be replaced and the number one failure is down in here, there's going to be like a little inspection. It's hard to do it from the top. You can't do it from the top. It's going to be a rubber plug that's going to show you if you have the old time and chain tensioner in there. I have a video on that too. If you have the old time and chain tensioner in there and your engine is still running good, you better get it out immediately or it's going to end up like this one. And there's another video on that, how to, how to check that. And of course, there's millions of other things, but those are big ones that jump out. And like I said, if this fails, PCV valve fails, right? What it's going to do, it'll blow out that seal, that main seal that's uh, on the, in between the engine and transmission. It sucks too much vacuum, it bends it, and it blows out that seal. All right, so this is important to re check that um, PCV valve. And if yours is old or original and the car's still running good, replace it. And... Off the top of my head, the turbos are pretty reliable on these cars. Um, and like, if, let's say if you're up to date on the um, the PCV, positive current crate. I always say PVC. Sometimes I get confused. Um, the fuel, uh, the um, the leak over here. And if you're up to date on the timing chain tensioner, these these engines are extremely reliable. It just so happens that when they were made. They had bad time and chain uh, tensioners, and you know, no no car is perfect. But once you replace those things, it's a good running car. All right. So, and those are the ones I just wanted to point out. All right, guys, motor car up. Please subscribe. Any questions about the video? Leave them below. I answer all my questions. If you learned something, I would appreciate a super thanks or uh, a donation to the channel. Keep me going, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.